Jesus said, Man cannot live on bread alone, but from every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. You're listening to Daily Truth. I was adopted as a baby. And here's something that I know. I'm not an expert on adoption. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's a beautiful picture of the gospel. But one thing that I know, it's kind of a common sense knowledge, is that, you know, my parents, they went to the courthouse. They had a court date. They had their lawyer. I had my lawyer, which is kind of funny. The baby has a lawyer. So I have my lawyer. The adoptive parents, they have their lawyer. And, and there's this court hearing, and we have a judge and all those things. And if I was biologically my parents' child, if I was biologically their child, and they went you know, to a judge and hired a lawyer and all these things, that we would like to adopt our biological child. I think the response would be, well, I think you might lose your child because you don't have the intelligence required to raise one. <laughs> this is already your kid. What are you doing? What do you mean you want to adopt your child? This is your child. Well, likewise, in the scripture, in Ephesians, in Romans, in multiple places in the scripture that speaks of, of being adopted. The Bible is not talking about God adopting children that are already his children. The very presence of the doctrine of adoption, that God adopts us as his children, what that assumes is that we start this life as those who are not his children. The Bible does not teach the universal fatherhood of God. The Bible teaches the universal creatorhood of God. And there is a moral obligation for all human beings made in the image of God simply as God's creatures and God being their creator. All men, whether they're Christian or not, have a moral obligation to God because he's their father. No, because he's their creator. He made them. And he has rights over the creature. And the creature has moral obligations to the one who made him. The Bible teaches universal creatorhood, but not universal fatherhood. 